with Judge Ross. When we reviewed this case, both of you decided that you would submit to lie detector tests. Absolutely. Okay, here are the results. Let's start with yours, Ms. Tenenbaum. You were asked, did Mr. Lance ever tell you that he had applied the heavier pesticide in the area? You answered, you answered no. No. The lie detector test found, found no deception. deception. Let's, look and, uh, let's look at your results, sir. Did you tell, Did you tell Ms. Tenenbaum that you were going to use the, strong the stronger pesticide? pesticide? He answers yes. The lie detector test found no deception either. The gavel must come down in favor of the defendant. And here's the problem. When you sue someone, you as the plaintiff have the burden of proof. The challenge that we have here is that you're both adequately credible. And if I have a situation where both are credible, the law says we have to get the benefit of the doubt and to defend it because you bear the burden of edging it up a little bit. And, and be, your matter dismissed. Case closed. Good luck. Judge Ross has ruled in favor of the defendant. The plaintiff's claim has been dismissed. Yeah, pesticides are no joke. I mean, I feel bad for the dog, but as the judge said, I owe her nothing. I am so upset. He knew I had a dog. He should have been more forthcoming with instructions. I'm just glad my dog is okay. Facebook and Twitter. This has been a production of Entertainment Studios.